Our table wandered a bit in our discussion. Um, we wandered off topic a little bit here and there. But um, the top checkbox question was, uh, do you think basic income could be designed as a negative income tax? Our answer was no. Uh, we ended up with four pros and four cons um, in our determination of that. Uh, the pros is that it's easy for the government to use the existing system. Um, it's easy to encourage the community to provide tax services to those in need, but it needs good tax specialists. You don't want to depend on the tax system if you have a lousy accountant to, uh, to get you the benefits that you need. Other pros are that uh, filing income tax, the government takes care of uh, the management, and you don't have to justify the need for, um, for the basic income. Uh, we kept coming back to the issue of dignity and uh, stigma, that we want to improve the dignity of the recipients and decrease the stigma for applying uh, for these and standing in line and the like. The cons that we came up with for negative income tax is that um, precarious employment affects the tax status. Uh, some people might have a really good year followed by a really bad year, and the uh, thought is that the tax system doesn't react quickly enough to meet people's needs. People who need it uh, may not be in the tax system. Those people who are homeless and on the street and haven't filed income tax in years wouldn't have any way of uh, receiving the benefit. Uh, this applies particularly to people who are in precarious housing and people who lack digital resources to be able to file their income taxes. Uh, people who need it may not have ID, they may not um, um, be willing to subject themselves to the treatment of the people who would be um, registering them for, for the income tax. Again, a, a dignity and a stigma thing. Um, the last comment we have is that um, people may need social contacts in their community to help them navigate the tax system, and the people who are most in need of that may not have those social contacts. Should the pilot be provided outside of the tax system? We said yes. We disagree with Table 13. Uh, precarious employment makes taxes irregular and uh, not necessarily relevant based on uh, the previous year's income. So we believe that the tax system is not a good way of delivering uh, basic income. But uh, what are other options? Um, we talked about tuition-free post-secondary education, and um, Brian May came up to us uh, after the, we, we answered this and said there's actually something in place like that already, so that was news to me. How should basic income respond to changes in income? We need a progressive tax system. Um, came up with the idea that we need um, a higher level of income tax for those best able to afford it in order to be able to provide for those who can't. Uh, again, that the tax system is too slow to respond. Again, that the tax system is too slow to respond to precarious income, and eligibility requirements shouldn't exist. This is a basic universal income. It should just be applied to everybody, regardless of, of their current status. A couple of extra points that we came up with. Um, somebody suggested, Charlene suggested that we take uh, small groups of 100 to 200 people in each area and test the different methods of uh, dispersing basic income so that we can see which is the most effective. <coughs> Insufficient income prevents participation in things that would uh, improve people's lot. So, for example, insufficient income prevents somebody from attending night school, which would then be able to give them a better job to increase their income. Again, progressive tax system, uh, ensure that the low income earners are not penalized. And we figured that the, um, the benefits of this would be a good social outcome. Uh, there would be less drug alcohol abuse, uh, fewer fighting, better communities, and all of this would result from any sort of basic income supplement. Thank you very much.